Hey everyone, it's John from Ride Upstate, and Uber recently had their Go Get event, which was really directed at passengers and customers and things like that. It's a 13 minute long video. I'm going to watch it. I'm going to react to it. I've already watched it once through, so I kind of know what's coming and it's helped me to collect my thoughts, but I'm going to comment as we go along. I'm going to play it. It's going to be visible. Like, where is it going to be? Like right there. That's where it's going to be. <laughs> and uh, we'll get going and see what this animal is. Monday, June 3rd. Hi. Interesting. I'm Dara Khosr Shahi, CEO of Uber. The world has changed a lot in the last year, and so have we. Uber's a company that helps move people. But last March, we asked you not to move. And while people around the world stayed home, we shifted to moving. Interesting, because Uber didn't ask us not to move. Our governments asked us not to move. Very interesting. What matters? We use their infrastructure to get food to seniors, emergency relief supplies to food banks, and healthcare workers to hospitals on the front line, all as part of our commitment to donating 10 million rides and deliveries. The health and safety of riders, drivers. So interesting. Um, it's pretty interesting that the difference in the communication here, because we've heard 10 million rides and now he said 10 million rides and deliveries. So 10 million rides is, is the number that you're hearing uh, associated with getting people to do, to get vac vaccinated. And that's going to come up later in the video. We're going to talk about that. Uh, but it's interesting that it goes from just 10 million rides to 10 million rides and deliveries. And delivery people, it's at the heart of everything we do. We distributed millions of supplies to help keep vehicles clean, and we became the first company to build an innovative mass verification system to help keep everyone safe. All right, so if you're a driver, you know how innovative that mask system is. Safe and accountable. Through the pandemic, we've worked with over 1 million merchants to help move more than 1.5 billion orders of meals and grocery items. We expanded our offerings to what you needed most by adding grocery, pharmacy, convenience, and alcohol options. Because we all need alcohol, don't we? And as millions in the restaurant industry were hit hard by the pandemic, we helped making donations to the Restaurant Employee Relief Fund, and adding new features designed to meet their evolving needs. And as stay-at-home orders were put in place, we found new ways to help you stay connected to loved ones. And while we didn't know when, we did know that one day the world will start. So it's pretty interesting how, how highly produced this is. If you've watched any of the recent Apple events, they're a lot like this. Tim Cook comes out as the CEO and makes kind of these generalized statements. And then following Tim Cook are people who are in charge of the different things that they're going to be announcing or talking about. And I think you're going to see that that's what's going to happen here. They've done this a lot like uh, the Apple events. It wouldn't surprise me if they got the same marketing company to film this as, they, as who filmed the Apple events. Start to feel right again. So we kept innovating, we kept imagining, and we kept building. And today, I am thrilled to share what we've been working on and how we believe we can help the world move again. The innovations and products that we're announcing. I mean, even if you look at the way Dara is dressed, uh, how he's wearing simple, plain colors, he's not wearing a suit, he's not... Uh, 
He's not wearing anything with a design or a pattern in it. It's really low key and it's not designed to draw attention to himself, but more attention to the company. Again, a lot like Apple's presentations. And I mean, what can you say? Apple does a good job. And so far, as far as production quality goes, this is a pretty good one too. We'll help you go where you want and get what you need easier and faster than ever before. At Uber, we're reimagining how the world moves as we return, not just to normal, but to a better normal. I'm so glad he didn't say new normal. Dara? Uber for Dara? Hey. All right, how are you? Headed to Walmart? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, they, they tout all these passenger safety uh, tools that they have. Uh, in their app, yet they don't show Dara using the the pin tool where you can provide a pin to make sure that you've gotten in the right vehicle. Uh, Dara doesn't check the license plate on the vehicle like is often recommended and that they've that they've promoted. Um, he didn't ask for the driver's name, uh, which is the only confirming information that you have. So you got vehicle, the vehicle color, the license plate, and the driver's name. Uh, he confirmed none of that. This is a normal interaction. Despite what Uber tells its passengers to do, they don't demonstrate it in this promotional event video. And he's going to Walgreens to, of course, get his vaccine. Experts agree. In order to put an end to this pandemic, we need to continue safe habits like mask wearing. And above all, we need to get vaccinated if we're able. And that's why we're proud to partner with Walgreens, America's go-to pharmacy, to help make getting your vaccine as easy as requesting an Uber. As head of social impact at Uber, I am thrilled to share with you our new in-app integration with Walgreens. So again, a lot like the Apple events, you're seeing kind of this transition. So here, Julia Page, the head of social impact, comes out just like somebody else would come out in one of these Apple videos. So again, either they have the same production company uh, who produced this event, this online event, or we have a, a production company that's basically copied the feel and the vibe of the Apple events. The pandemic has hit our country hard. Sadly, communities of color, seniors, and other underserved groups have experienced the devastating impacts of COVID in disproportionate ways. When it comes to accessing the vaccine, these same communities face outside obstacles. Every year, 6 million Americans miss medical appointments because they don't have access to transportation. Uber is providing 10 million free or discounted rides to help underserved and communities of color get the vaccine. We are proud to have joined forces with Walgreens, the National Urban League, the National Action Network, the Moore Health School of Medicine, and LULAC to provide equitable access. We have held vaccine clinics with local communities in Atlanta, Chicago, Houston, and El Paso. And together with Walgreens and PayPal, we have teamed up with a non- It's for those impacted communities right from their Uber app. By making it as easy to get an appointment as it is to get an Uber, we will help more people. So interesting. Um, as we all know, Uber has been kind of taking this um, drive to make this one app do everything. If you recall, we used to have an Uber Eats app and uh, an Uber app for, for getting transportation. It's all in one app now. A lot like Apple tries to make everything uh, in one, uh, one interface, one way to do everything. Here's Uber doing that all. And, um, you know, I, I think that's really neat that, that you have all those things accessible. Part of the problem that you often run into, though, is you get bloat. And if one part, if there's a bug in one part, it can affect other parts. I know I'm comparing this a lot to the Apple events and what Apple does. And it's just because they're doing a lot of what Apple has done in the past. And it, it wouldn't surprise me if they've kind of tuned and mimicked things after Apple's successes. People get vaccinated so they can go anywhere. Very interesting point there is that they want people to get vaccinated so that we can go anywhere, right? Uber, 
Uber's main source of income, uh, besides selling your data and the tracking information and the mapping information that they're getting, is rides. They can't get that information if you're not riding, and so it's in their best interest to make sure people get vaccinated so they start using Uber again. Good morning. Thank you for joining our, our class this morning. I teach special education at a high school. I've spent the past year learning how to teach and connect with my students virtually. It's just not the same at all being in the classroom together. With the Uber app, I've been able to easily schedule my vaccination appointment at Walgreens around my busy online school schedule. We know that if reserving an appointment and a ride to get there is a seamless experience, more people will get vaccinated. Hey, you Maurice? Yep, that's me. Headed to Walgreens, huh? Yep, getting my vaccine today. Available to so one of the things you're going to notice in a lot of these videos is that people are using a, a KN95 duckbill mask, a lot like this one here. Um, this isn't the exact one. The reason for that is it doesn't push up against your, your mouth, and so you're not as muffled. And you can actually mic inside the mask when you're doing that. I learned this uh, early on because of a lot of music performers said that when they were performing at, say, a church or somewhere, these types of masks that weren't up against your mouth helped you to project better and, and get the sound out. So very interesting that they're all wearing these types of masks. Today in your Uber app nationwide, tap a button, reserve a vaccine, and your rides to and from your appointment. It's also interesting to note that a lot of them aren't wearing it. You know, getting this vaccine has been amazing. Properly. I'm really counting down the days until like our students and our faculty can be back in person again. All right, we're all set. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. Take care. Have a good one. Thank you. Like if you saw there, there was a little bit of a gap here. That means air is getting out. He's essentially, that mask is essentially useless at that point. It's been a challenging year, but definitely worth it. I think we're all excited, um, cautiously excited. Once we're all vaccinated, Uber can help us travel, go, and move again. Now, renting a car is as easy as ordering an Uber. Did you see all the things in the as app there? Let me, let me back that up. There. Look at all the different things there. Ride, food, package, vaccine, reserve, rentals, two wheels, transit. That's a lot of things in one app. And I mean, to, to me, that's concerned. When I look at mine, I don't have that many items. I think I have ride, package, food, and vaccine. Let me, let me double check. Let's see what I've got in my Uber app here. Oh, I just got rent. I did not have rent earlier this morning. There you see, ride, food, package, rent, and vaccine. So th that's pretty interesting. Um, I did not have the rent last night when I checked on this, so it has updated this morning. Renting a car is as easy as ordering an Uber. As a mom of- So depending on the market that you're in, if you have public transit available that where they've partnered with public transit, you'll get the, the transit options in there as well. I'm a five-year-old girl. I have my hands full. COVID has been unbelievably hectic. It's been chaotic. And she's been such a champ through it all. I really want to treat her to a fun weekend getaway. With Uber Rent, I can effortlessly rent a car with Avis, Hertz, and dozens more directly through the Uber app in cities nationwide. And when I use Uber Rent and its convenient valet service, it gets even better. After I book, I can have the car delivered straight to my door so we don't waste any time. No rental car counters, no lines, no schlepping. So this is interesting that they've teamed up with car rental companies in order to do this. Um, yeah, I, I, personally, I think that's a great idea. I think one of the things that car rental companies have struggled with is getting people to come to the counter or use their valet service and, and use things online or use their app. And if they can integrate into the Uber app, I think that's a great partnership for Uber and these car rental companies. Our goal is to bring the magic of Uber to the rental car experience. So not only does the valet service deliver the car to your doorstep, it also picks it up when you're done. 
Just schedule a convenient time and we'll get it returned. So it's interesting that they show her getting out of a car seat. I wonder if that's an option when you do a rental. So if I'm a person who doesn't own a car and I have children and I live in the city, I don't have a car seat. So is that an option that you can get? Will they install the car seat for you? Interesting to know. We're all dreaming of our next vacation, but when traveling, it can lead to tons of anxiety. That's why we're bringing peace of mind to that experience with the launch of new features in Uber Reserve. We launched our premium reserve experience late last year to help you plan ahead for trips. Reserve for X still lets you book your ride up to 30 days in advance, request a favorite driver, and accommodate extra wait time with our on-time guarantees to riders, but at a price that better suits your budget. Reserve is also expanding globally to cities like London and Paris, starting with premium rides, and is now available across the US. With expanded features like, like flight tracking, 60 minutes of wait time, and curbside pickup, you can step out of the terminal and into your ride. With Uber. Wow, 60 minutes of wait time. So, so what they're saying here is you can plan your trip and let's say your flight is 20 or 30 minutes late or you're caught up uh, at the baggage claim. A driver, you and me, will have to sit and wait for up to 60 minutes. Now, here's the thing. Are we going to get paid for that wait time? How How is that going to work? Uh, again, this is marketed towards people who use the service regularly. It's not marketed towards drivers. So I'll be interested in hearing those answers because if you're telling me I have to wait for up to 60 minutes, am I getting paid for that time? How's that going to work? Uber Reserve, we were able to book our rides to and from the airport. After spending two weeks traveling and hiking in the Cascades, now that we're vaccinated, it's great to be heading home. And with Uber Reserve's flight tracking, it's reassuring to know that our ride is waiting and ready when we are. Our ride to SeaTac was a breeze, and our Uber trip home is now waiting for us at arrivals, so we can step off the plane and jump into the Uber ride without... So again, same masks again, they're all wearing the same masks. Even if you look there, you can see that the driver's wearing the same mask, too. Any of the guesswork. With Uber's Get While You Go prompts, dinner is the last thing you need to worry about after a long flight. When you're on a trip from the airport, you'll be asked if you'd like to order your favorite meal from a neighborhood spot and have it delivered to your door when you arrive. Uh, it's so nice to just come home and see that, you know, Uber Eats a bag. So this is interesting. This is going to be a, a, a challenge. Or just, it's, by the way, does anyone deliver food in an Uber Eats bag? We don't deliver food in Uber Eats bags, do we? It's usually from the restaurant, right? Anyway, um, so that's going to be interesting for the drivers because the driver is going to have really a serious deadline in order to get the food delivered. What if the restaurant's backed up? H how is that going to affect us? How is that going to affect the customer? sitting there on the uh, the porch and you don't have to interact with anyone um, it's, it's very dependable and uh, I just love that feature life is just you don't have to interact with anyone what a wonderful future so much easier with uber prompts to help you get while you go are just some of the ways that uber can make your daily routine easier and as we're reimagining an even better normal, we're excited to announce several delivery features that make ordering your way even more convenient. You can now pre-order from a restaurant, even if it's closed, to be the first in line for delivery when it opens. You'll also have enhanced cart flexibility so that you can keep your weekly... Okay, um, pre-ordering before the restaurant is open so you can be the first in line. I just see all kinds of trouble with that. All, all kinds of trouble. <laughs> grocery list going and order your go-to Friday night pizza order. And starting this spring, in more than 20 cities, you'll even be able to add items from a second merchant at checkout to make delivery even more effortless. Okay, so what that's going to mean for drivers is we're going to get an order that's going to come in and it's going to say, go to Joe's Pizza, pick up a pizza. And then it's going to say, go to Fred's liquor store, 
well, let's not use Fred. We'll use Joe, you know, a guy. So go to Diane's liquor store and, you know, pick up some whiskey or beer or whatever. Um, so we're going to get an order. Are we going to see that we're going to multiple destinations to pick up something? Or is this just going to be uh, invisible to us and we won't know until we accept the order? And for those moments when you're on your way on an Uber trip and hunger strikes, we're introducing Pick Up and Go. As a resident physician, I work 80 hours a week, so I'm always tired, hungry, and ready to get home when my shift ends. Hey, Julian. Hey, Tiana, how are you? Oh, another long shift. With Pick Up and Go, Tiana can see restaurants and merchants along her route or close to her destination so she can order for pickup and make a quick pit stop on her way home. Okay, so this is a lot like, uh, hey, can you stop at this gas station? Someone adds a stop. Is the driver, so, you know, Tiana goes into the restaurant to get her Chipotle order, and it takes 15 minutes. Is the driver getting compensated for that? How is this going to work? This just kind of looks like... Uh, it's going to be a mess if drivers accept this. Do they have to accept it? Can they say, no, I'm just going to take you home. I don't, I don't want you to have food in my car. Is that an option? Pick up and go lets you make quick stops without needing to request another Uber trip. Hey, Julian, I just been in the order to get a quick breakfast burrito from my favorite place, Papalotes. Would you mind if we made a quick stop there? Of course, no problem. My rat's updating. What's Papalotes? Oh, it is amazing. They have the best breakfast burritos in town. You've got to try it. So again, this is assuming the order is ready, that it's not backed up and busy, and that you can get in and out in a few minutes. We already have issues with this where people are asking to be left to, to add a stop, and it takes too long for them to come out. Do we leave them there? You know, hey, I want to stop at the grocery store. I want to stop at this convenience store, whatever on the way. It'll only be a minute or two and you're waiting five or 10 minutes. Again, I, I don't see this as good for drivers. Hey. Hi, Dr. T. Oh, you guys are too kind. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. I love using Reserve's favorite driver feature to request Julian to pick me up whenever I can. It's okay, the favorite driver feature I really like, and I, I hope we can see that more often. I would love it if I can just say to a passenger, hey, if you want me to pick you up next time, add me as your favorite driver and I'll be happy to come and get you. Knowing that you can consistently pick up the same people all the time and have guaranteed income is, is a great tool. And I would be encouraging people, if you're in a market where that favorite driver feature option is available, as they're getting out of the vehicle, Especially if, if you've noticed you've picked the person up a couple times in a week or you pick them up every week at the same time, that's an opportunity for you to say, hey, add me as your favorite driver and then I can pick you up. When I used to drive to work every day, there was a guy that I picked up nearly every single Thursday and there was someone else that I picked up pretty regularly on Tuesdays. If I had been able to tell them add me as a favorite driver, I could have picked them up every single week and had that guaranteed ride on my way to work. It's just nice to have a friendly face at the end of a long day. The challenges of the last year have made people more price conscious than ever. With our new savings hub, discover how you can save on meals and deliveries. As a one-tap destination on the Uber Eats app, the savings hub will compile offers, deals, and discounts available to you. And you'll be able to track your progress towards future discounts. Way Uber is helping you save. We're adding new benefits to Eats Pass across delivery and mobility, all in one membership. Bringing together the go and the get, Eats Pass offers benefits across restaurants, grocers, rides, and more, making every day even easier. With zero dollar delivery fee. So again, they're trying to combine everything into one app. They're trying to get people to subscribe in order so that they can get discounts and things like that. Um, I mean, okay, I guess. But how does that affect the drivers? How is that affecting our earnings? If they get a discount, are we getting paid less? 
Those are answers to questions that, that we don't have. Are they still going to be prompted to leave a tip? Can they automatically add a tip? You know, hey, I'm just going to standard, anytime someone delivers someone standard five, $5 tip every time I order something. I don't know. On restaurants and grocery stores, as well as alcohol in many states, plus 5% off Eats orders, we're helping you get what you need and save on the orders you love most. Good looking and ladies. when you're ready to get moving again, we're introducing 10% off three rides per month, in addition to new member perks to celebrate and reward our members. We're all ready for a better normal. And with new products like Uber and Walgreens vaccine integration, Reserve for UberX, pick up and go, get while you go prompts, and of course, Uber rent with a valet, plus the new Eats Pass, which now combines the best of Uber across rides and eats. Wherever your travels may take you, you can get around like a local, a boat in London, a moped in Paris, a moto in Delhi, or a taxi in Hong Kong. And whatever you need, we're here to get it delivered to you. There's a lot on the horizon. We'll see loved ones we've missed over the past year. We'll visit our favorite destinations again, and we'll explore new places. Uber is here to help you go anywhere and to get anything. Thank you. Are you ready? So the Uber Go Gets event clearly directed more towards customers than it is drivers. They're hoping to promote the upcoming freedoms when we have vaccination, when everyone's vaccinated, when the lockdowns are done. And they're, they're really trying to get customers to, to get into their app right now. And start getting ready and start planning for these things, going on vacation and things like that. Now, that's good for us as drivers. I would like to see something like this for drivers. I'd like to see how they would promote these things to drivers and the money that, that we're going to receive. Now, immediately following this, well, I won't say immediately, but within about four or five hours of this video coming out, they released a bunch of little 7 and 16 second commercial spots that I'm going to watch later on and react to those as well. It'll be interesting to see what those look like and to just kind of go through them and, and see how it ties into this event. Those are my thoughts on this. Uh, what do you think? Leave a comment below if you like this kind of content. Remember, you can like this video and, of course, subscribe if you want to see this stuff pretty regularly. My name is John from Ride Upstate, reminding you that just because you're in a small market, it doesn't mean you need to settle for small profits.